G'day! In this video I want to show you how uh, place marks work. So here I am in Yarraman, which is a suburb of Melbourne near Dandenong, and I used to take students here on uh, field work every year having a look at the two different um, urban creeks running through the suburb. So place marks are these things, and you can add them to anywhere you want on your map, and you can label them. So if you're doing field work and you might have um, we used to have eight different study sites, for example. So this might be site one, and I label that, and that's marked there where site one is. If I have another site, maybe at the confluence of the two rivers, it might be um, site two, and it saves in there. Now these are being saved in my places, so you can and you can turn them on and off by um, ticking and unticking those boxes. Another thing you can do is if you go to properties is you can add a description here. So site one, your observations might be um, the river looked really dirty. Uh, we saw lots of rubbish. And then when I click on this, the information is saved there. It can also be really useful. Um, I'll add another place mark. Let's call this site three. You can add the information straight away. If you're measuring things such as water quality, you might have pH. So at this location, maybe it was 8.5. Um, you might have had turbidity. You might have uh, water velocity. So all those different things. And they save there. Once again, you can click it and all the information will be there. So that can be a really good way to display your results. Let's say I'll add another site um, here. Um, let's say I want to decipher between some of the place marks and some of the others. You might want to change the color of the icon. So I may change it to orange, and now that, that points orange. You can also change the icon completely over here in the um, top right of the box. Um, maybe that's where you had lunch, so you want it to have a look, um, look like a picnic table. So all those different sites, you can have as many as you want, and you can gather all of your data together, and you can add them in a folder. So under my places, if you right click, I want to add a folder. Let's call this um, Yarraman Field Trip. That's not, that's two words, Field Trip, okay. And you can click and drag all of these sites and you can add them into your folder, Yarraman Field Trip. So they're all saved there now and you can expand that title and you can see all your different sites are saved there and you can right click and you can save this place as and you can call it um, this is the results for Adrian's group and you can save that as a KMZ folder and you can submit that to your teacher and when your teacher opens that file they'll get all your sites saved in there underneath your um, your field trip folder so you can um, all, all the different um, classmates can submit their different um, field data and all that information will get saved there under that one folder called Yarraman Field Trip. 